गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स हेलो यस गुड मॉर्निंग आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम वी आर असेंबल्ड हियर फॉर द डिस्कशन रिगार्डिंग द द न्यू सब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ योर सेकंड ईयर दैट इज एमसीओ 1 एंड एमसीओ 3 4 5 6 7 7 एंड आई हैव टेकन ओनली थ्री सब्जेक्ट्स वन इज एमसीओ 1 another one is mco 4 another one is mco 6 but today's class is uh, mco 1 block 1 regarding the organizational theory and its uh, as different aspects of organization now i am presenting my slides Hello everybody do you see my slides yes sir yes, sir. okay yes sir my dear students myself dr durga madhav mahapatra lecturer in commerce fakir mohan autonomous college baleswar and counselor of indira gandhi national open university new delhi in front of you through virtual mode i am presenting the particular topic mco 1 block 1 and the topic for the discussion in the today's class is organizational theory the uh, in a particular topic uh, block 1 it contains three units one is introduction to organization another one is organization theory and uh, unit 3 is the organization structure and its effectiveness my dear student before starting this topic i am introducing some of the information as regards to organization my dear students there are three there are three types of organizations are there you are confronted with this organization one is sole trading organization another one is partnership form organization and third one is the company form of organization and every organization means it is a group of people have some objective is there some vision is there every organization and vision have some objective vision mission and they are stands with some core values if you talk about the tata company is good why it is good the question is only they are core values and they are the empathy towards people in this pandemic situation it means my point is here i am describing that organization only not only the managing the people but also it leads the how it is performing in your future but in the unit 1 that uh, that the topic is introduction to organization in a introduction to organization the there are several questions on my mind or several enquiry on my mind means wh wh means what wh what why when how where and who if what means the why the particular organization is formed and what purpose is the organization is formed when the particular organ how the people were uh, purpose of uh, fail or success and how the organization and where the, it will manage the properly or not and who who are the people having ability to create the excellent organization in this connection i am pointed out some of the organizational failure like as a uh, there is a question of uh, um, another one is a, there are different type of organizations are there if you talk about organization some organization like as a service organization economic organization religious organization protective organization and government organization and social organization sir there if you talk about service organization there are service means service to mankind it means it is that is a public schools park or zoos or roads these are related to the service organization and economic only the means for the profit it means the partnership business sole trading business or cooperation cooperation is not only the focus on profit but somehow they are focusing the some of the profit and they are the service behind of in terms of profit in in a particular period also 
and religious organization the temple trust is there and some of the churches are there they are formed a one religious organization now if you talk about protective organization the police department military department fire departments these are the also protective organization towards the towards people another one is government organization the government organization are generally two types one is state government another one is central government the state governments are formed the different departments to look after the services of the people and central government also some of the rules and regulation they are forming some of the so, universities and uh, colleges some of the departments also some of the welfare schemes uh, they are introducing for the people these are the some of the organization you may call as a government organization another one is social organization and we are we are basically um, engaged with different social organization red cross or you may call as a different clubs different teams these are called as a social organization but the question is here organization means it is a one type of structured process or organization means it is a mean for the people interact with some objective what type of objective the different organization has a different objective supposed to be we are in binding up as a commerce student we mean to the uh, Uh, economic organization we are meant for the only profit and organization on not only the includes people they are interacting with each other and they are uh, abiding some of the interaction with some of the uh, rules and regulations are to be frame out also and they meet the some of the objectives also means organizational objective and they can interact and they can start their uh, they they can uh, put their own views in a particular type of uh, organizations it means my point is if you talk about some organizations are excellent and some organizations are bad why this arises there is a bad or excellent if you talk about infosys is performing well if you talk about uh, tcs is performing well if you talk about the some of the organizations are merged together to not compete with the cutthroat competition in the present world in such scenario there is a some type of a skill set is necessary and that type of skill set means ability to generate trust or faith with each other and the ability to further perceive for the future trend and ability to adequate efforts and that type of uh, skills that type of perform that type of changing of nature of task which is leads a, a new type of efficient organization so that the employees are expected to possess some multiple skills should be required means one for my point is if the organization is success that is there is a behind of only employees means if the employees are doing or uh, doing their or duties their task in a right way right manner a right approach is necessary then the the skill of baskets is enhance the excellent organization another one is the question is uh, what is the meaning of uh, management if you talk about uh, uh, um, organization that is just somehow the interlinked with management management means getting things done through others uh, or others or you may uh, called as a, the act of getting things done through people also there are different uh, theories and have to be focused by the some of the people like as rose more they describe the management means decision making means what type of decision making it means if you planning the particular uh, particular task and organizing and also commanding coordinating controlling or uh, that is called as a forecasting investigating and uh, like as a staffing directing so these are the some of the uh, theories who they are focusing as regards to the concept of management means how they are manage the organization na proper planning is necessary proper coordinating is necessary proper directing is necessary proper organizing is necessary and that type of investigational of approach is leads to a, a particular type of success of a organization but but in a particular organization you see there are different levels of management are there 
if you talk about level, there are three levels of uh, management are there. One is top level, another one is middle level, another one is supervisor level. If you, if you reverse back on, on back end to top end, then first level management, another one is middle level management, another one is top level management. Always the authority and responsibility were focused on the top level to lower level and the uh, responsibility will be enacted with the lower level to top level manager so that I am focusing the duties and responsibility at this type of level is varying from organization to organization. My dear students, listen carefully. The level of a management is always different from one organization to another organization. Means how the duties and responsibility were delivered or confronted with the particular type or pass on through this level of management in terms of size, in terms of technology, in terms of culture, or if that's that 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 is called as a these are the some of the uh, historical based of uh, prevailing in the organization. My dear students, if you talk about uh, top level management or strategic level of management, it means they prepare strategy, they prepare a long uh, long term plans, or they can evaluate the performance of each department. I mean, how the particular department will be performed well in near future, and what type of uh, personnel to be selected in terms of top level manager's duty means the good personnel should be appointed in a particular department and so the task will be performed in a right way and that selection of personnel is a necessity or it is a indeed have a duty of a top level manager or strategic level of a manager another one is problem solving and the consultation with the subordinate manager who are the subordinate manager if you talk about CEO is a top level manager or, or managing director is a top level manager, so middle level manager is a finance manager, marketing manager, HR manager and production manager. They are looking after their departments and they perform on how the particular their department performing well. It means they make plan, they may analyze the performance and they may um, analyze the capability of the persons and they may enable the departmental policies also and they may review the daily basis and weekly report means what type of uh, how much production will be procured or how much sales will be uh, enhanced and why the particular subordinates on production and personal problems are to be um, encountered and that type of selection and recruitment of personnel is in indeed to have a duty of a middle level manager or middle level you may call it as a middle level management another management is supervisory management if you talk about supervisory management it means there is a lower level manager just like a worker so they are the only we we, we may call it as a pay to uh, wages to them means they are short range of operational plan means they are uh, only reviewed by the sub subordinates also they can supervise day to day operations also and that type of uh, management activities are to be ongoing process in the particular organization mean top level middle level another one is supervisory or lower level of management Another concept is if you talk about so management, it is, management means it is a only universal truth. What type of universal truth? It means it, it has an every situation, every organization, every business houses or government or military. There are uh, different type of level of organizations are there and different areas of business is also different so that it is a universal in character. Or you may call it as a, it is a purposeful one. Every organization has some purpose, some specific objective, and all activities of the management, some goal-oriented uh, or some core value is there. Or you may call it as a, it's some creative process is also there, and some justification is there. Justification to achieve the objective. That is the way to attain the 
uh, main uh, main goal oriented activity measured in terms of the particular purposeful way another one is it is a integrative forces is there it means team efforts team spirit is necessary and uh, how you have to evaluate the team spirit means together we work and we stand and we have to be effort our our uh, make our effort to to success in a particular task that type of physical or resource appearances in necessary in a particular management means management is also another point is social process if you talk about social process it means it is done by the people for the people and through the people because without the people here people means personnel here people means human resource means human resource is a important element of a management and this is a special character as a social process and management is also a, a multidisciplinary or interdisciplinary it means if you like as a several disciplines like as a engineering sociology psychology economics and anthropology every departments the human behavioral approach is necessary means how they behave properly and you can draw attention to their behavior then only you can success you can you can get success in a near future means if you do not if you do not find out their behavior properly then you cannot success the particular organization so so that always uh, in a pandemic situation some of the companies uh, were more focusing to their well being of their employees well being means they are more focusing towards their health awareness programs and they are introducing towards uh, some of the vaccines or some of the way they are presenting in in in, in tackle with the pandemic situation another one is it is a continuous process and uh, i have already stated management is a both dynamic both static and but here so we are stated that management is a continuous process and we can change in action according to the situations also and management is also a intangible one also but 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 the question is uh, in the management is always focuses on different principles that is called as a some theories like as a foils theories foils theories uh, of a principle that is 14 principle of foils management how what are these 14 principle na division of work is necessary authority and responsibility should be uh, focus on to, towards the employees also the management is a discipline unity of command towards top level to um, lower level management and the unit of direction is necessary and subordinate uh, of individual interest to group interest is necessary remuneration centralization order and equity and that these are the initiationness these are the some of the 14 principles which are related to by the foil apart from 14 principles some objective the foil has described what type of objective harmony objective means harmony is necessary me harmony means with a presence of grace and the universality of management is also necessary primary objective planning is necessary and decision exception is necessary it means power responsibility accounting authority and that should be that will be well balanced and well friction well satisfaction at a level is necessary in a particular type of 14 principles of management of by the foil another one is there are different functions of management if you talk about different functions the there are different main functions of management are planning organizing staffing directing coordinating controlling and communicating decision making there are seven steps are there some books are representing their five steps some other books they are focusing the functions of managers which includes the seven steps means planning planning always focus on vision mission goal setting and goal objective how the goals are to be achieved through plans means long term plans short term plans organizing how the people were uh, uh, interact with each other and what type of organizations are there how they are performing well staffing how the recruitment process 
proper manpower planning is necessary directing means commanding and communicating there is a not clearance of a barriers of communication there is a smoothness of communication is necessary from top level to lower level manager so that the proper management function can function can enacted in duration period in the particular organization my dear student if you talk about planning there is a three things i have focused one is vision objective and goal if you talk about vision vision means the ratan tata has an own vision it means they have a realistic and the credibility of attractive of position in future organization and if you they are have on some bhi, mission mission means the broad purpose is how the so what society expects from the organization means the mission statement is a broadly broad and value driven value here value i am talking about value driven means every organization is formed within the society and the society as a stakeholder always they look at what the particular company what the particular organization do for the society it means if the tata company is form a one school or college or roads or some of the awareness program it means they are only focusing towards the corporate social responsibility activities another one is goal here goal means there is a contribution to fulfillment of mission of the organization every organization has an own goal means some trillion billion dollars of a uh, uh, net worth of a uh, particular company that's called as a fulfillment of his mission of the organization another one is objective if you objective is different from short run objective or long run objective and it is a to achieve the milestones towards the goal and how the objective will be so uh, achieve the particular objective now there is a some sorts of planning is necessary and some sorts of organizing necessary now i am talking about the organizing if you talk about organizing it means it is a process and it is a structure it is allocating of a job in a particular organization or it you may call as a managerial activities <coughs> or the or you may call as a size of the group or you may call as a grouping of the jobs or you may call as each job in the organization different content of job means there are different type of sub section sub action sub functions are there to delegating the authority to assign to a manager and that type of assignment in direction towards the particular type of set of objective in a particular type of organizing question another one is staffing staffing means already i am starting train the people promote the people and uh, get uh, giving uh, human resource planning is necessary if you talk about directing that's called be uh, actual performance subordinates can be guided by the top level manager and supervising is necessary and communicate if i am talking about communicating it is also a process of by the ideas will be transmitted to others also if you talk about decision making there is a conscious decision making or alternative achieve is necessary or if you talk about controlling there is a current performance which is uh, achieved which is guiding towards uh, some predetermined goal it means you have to prepare the budgets how you have to prepare the budgets some corrective actions are to be undertaken in preparing the particular budgets it means revised budget and how the two periods will be performed two periods means there is a you may call as a quarter period or you may call as a uh, first quarter to second quarter performance you can evaluate it that uh, and the, in this section there are different role of managers are there if you talk about role of manager there are different role of manager the role of manager is described by the Hen henry mintbar they focusing on 10 roles of the particular manager 10 roles 10 roles and these 10 roles can be clubbed with the only three broad categories interpersonal roles informational roles and decision roles if you talk about manager's role that can be clubbed with the three categories interpersonal informational role and decision role but if you in a broadly discuss about the 10 roles 
in under the interpersonal role he ha, he is a figure head he is a leader he is a liaison officer and if you talk about informational role he is a recipient recipient of information he is a disseminator it means passing information to the subordinates passing information to the all stakeholders those who are those who are wants to <coughs> those who are wants to know about the performance of the company he is a spokesman another one is a decisional role he is become as an entrepreneur means the that type of designing that type of innovative ideas to be enforced with the particular managerial skill and he another one is natural he is a disturbance handler means to look out the um, strikes to look out the lockouts to, to, to and uh, labor unrest that type of activity can be corrective action can be made by the manager and he is a resource allocator he is also a negotiator and various groups of persons are there who can negotiate the particular organization means the the the, the broader role of a manager has an 10 another one it can be clogged with three types of categories of a role of a manager another one is there are different types of organizations are there we are later on discuss in block two three also there are types of organization it means formal informal primary and secondary organizations are there and some flexibility is there some not flexibility is not there and spontaneous is there some rigidity organizations are there <coughs> some strict rules and regulations are to be there these are the some of the types of organization but if you talk about in today's day of modern organization, modern organization, you see to what uh, how the Philcad is performance, how the Amazon is performing well, and how the uh, te um, technology companies are to be performing in a better see, better uh, situation in hand in duration period of pandemic situation. My dear students, in this competitive world, in this. Uh, in this type of stiffer competition, in a particular cutthroat competition, survival and growth is necessary. It is a time to join hand together, means merging, acquisition, and takeover. If you take the example of banks, the, there are several banks are to be merged together. Why they are merging? Only one reason is they are competing with the other giants. And that type of giants organization is now the taking place in the Indian market. So that the one feature of important modern organization is technology. Technology, my dear students, technology means technology is an enabler. Without technology in the present day world, we cannot live at all. So there are different type of technology are upcoming, like as a machine learning, like as artificial intelligence, like as a robotics, like as a drone technology. Through technology, every organization can be enhance their performance and in a better way of doing their position. That is the that is the beauty of this organization. And uh, my dear students, and the another one is computer revolution, flexible time, flexible place. In this pandemic situation, you see work from home, WFH means work from home is a flexible time and flexible type of uh, attitude is a derived by the or, or some of the organizations and the product innovation product differentiation customer satisfaction and creation of customer value and good ethical doing of business good ethical doing of business means there is no need of management. There is no, no need of mischievous activities. There is no need of involvement of any type of uh, um, loss, uh, doing uh, inherently loss making, uh, making loss making units. That type of way of doing is, is a one modern feature of an organization. And in present day, there are MNCs are there, multinational corporation, they are open their door at a, in Indian market. And how we should tackle? We should tackle with some of the issues like as a competitive gaining importance through cross-cultural issue. It means some, for example, if you talk about Maruti, the Maruti and Suzuki collaboration is there. Uh, 
and maruti is indian company and suzuki is japanese companies japanese culture is they are adopting uh, they are uh, they are mixed with the indian culture and that type of cross cultural issues can be en encounter and confronted with the getting importance in present day world that type of technical skill will be enhanced through the merging and that type of technical skill are to be enhanced through the uh, present situation in a economic benefit of the big bang i am talking about big bang it means it is a need of our it is a need of for taken into consideration to know about the uh, how the organization will performing in a better way better position in a present day world another my dear students in the unit 2 that topic is organizational theory or organization theory once the similar what is organization it is a just like a uh, explanation prediction or influence the behavior of the um, individuals we can study the in the behavior of the individuals so that the organization can be performed well and organization is a group of person organization just uh, one type of relationship organization is a one type of process and through and the organization is a some certain objective some of the uh, north system of the organization is a communication without proper communication the organization cannot success it means you, we are reducing the barriers of communication and the basic functions of uh, organization is a continuous process relationship is necessary but in there are different principles of organizations are there i, I have already stated what type of principle unity of objective objective is necessary division of work according to their capability according to their caliber uh, the duties authority responsibility can be divided properly and according to their specialization the work can be or the task can be performed in a different way another one is definition of job means we have to define the job how the job will be performed well whether it may be short term job or long term job means there is a need of for uh, you know, evaluating the performance how we have to evaluate it means we have to introduce some of the piece rate system some of the time rate system some of the bonus plans and through which we can evaluate their jobs and there is a some of the chains of command or scalar principle is also and uh, parity of uh, authority and responsibility is necessary and unit of direction command principle supervision and uh, communication flexibility these are the some of the principles the principles of the organization is there but these principles can be described in a broader way what broader way means classical theory approach another one is non classical theory approach if you talk about classical theory it is based in the year of uh, 1900 to 1950 within this year this 50 year that organization can be performed in a or administered with the different theories or it is based on some of the principle like as a bureaucracy theory administrative theory and scientific management theory if you talk about a bureaucracy theory bureaucracy bureaucracy means it means the administrator can look out the particular organization means if you talk about in our state also some administrator can look into this department if you talk about in center central government same administrator can look out the some of the department also but that bureaucratic theory or bureaucracy theory is developed by max weber he is a german sociologist and he has developed within the year of 1864 to 1920 they have one they believe that the ideal organization is the ideal organization is the only we can divide the system with some of the specialization or we have to how the efficiency productivity will be judged now it can be stressed out by attaining the degree of efficiency it means we can divide the work we can hierarchy of the authority and we can uh, provide some of the rules and regulation to be formed and interpersonal relationship can be developed then only 
then only that is a, that is a one type of relationship they are created one is superior and subordinate relationship superior is there means the superior boss that is a called as a bossage in system the superior boss who can look out the form of a department in precision of stability discipline and reliability another one is they have some uh, characteristics is there what are the characteristics? As already I am stated, rules and procedure, specialization, well-defined hierarchy, career advancement, and but in this in this bureaucratic theory by the Weber, Max Weber, he has defined some of the limitations are there, some of the negative points are there. What type of negative point? Because sometimes some bureaucracy may street divide the labor uh, labor into the different uh, uh, specialization but uh, they are adherent to some of the rules and the regulation and they are not control the or they are destroy the individual creativity suppose my boss is imposing on me to do the particular task automatically my creativity my flexibility is losing on my part and that is the way of a, a, a type of a complex change within me in a particular organization. Means if I am strict enough by the some of the bureaucratic boss in system and the, the, this is the, under this my performance is degraded and I am not cope up with the different criteria of situations. That is the negative point of a Weber's ideal bureaucratic theory or Weber's ideal bureaucratic approach. It means only one boss is there and they are imposing some of the rules, regulation, division of work, specialized of work to their members. That is enough of a, of a one line theory of a bureaucratic approach of a particular in the classical theory another one is the another part of a classical theory is administrative theory here administrative theory is a, developed by the henry foil and a, who is also a director of a mining of a particular company mining company in france he has described some of the functional approaches he has described some of the process it means he he said Every business, every business in a particular organization, they are interlinked with each other. It means some technical, commercial, financial, security, accounting, admission. It means every in a particular organization, there are different departments are there, different departmental managers are there, and the managers can look out the department in there. Some of the <coughs> skill requirements are also necessary, and that type of little attention by this thinker it means the departmental manager has look look out the particular department and that elements to that elements to or that uh, level of direction to forecast plan organize command and coordinate and control plan plan for the future organize organizing the particular organize the particular task commanding it means task will be completed through commanding and coordinating that is a harbon is necessary and controlling that type of approach is necessary through the particular type of administrative theory by the henry foil but but the basic difference between weber theory and foil theory is some uh, weber theory and henry foil theory is only one difference weber theory is all bureaucratic approach and but um, foil theory is only based on 14 principles and as well as they are only focusing the departmental heads and look out the particular look out of the particular department and it is expected to use the manager under different circumstances also and that is called as the administrative theory of management that is called as a functional approach of management and that is called as one type of they are laying the really laying the foundation store stone foundation stone of a particular department if we, 
in present day world we are con we are encountered with such type of issues like what foil has believe on that time period another theory is the scientific management theory it is also one part of classical theory of approach under scientific management theory there is a fw taylor in 1892 1930 they are more focusing and they are fw taylor they are focusing only the scientific management theory like as a they are focusing on the how the worker will be best suited to perform it means training is necessary and uh, the, um, they they are more focusing their responsibility also they are more focusing on the um, co co cooperation also so they are, they are more focusing there are different techniques of scientific management what are the techniques time study is necessary it means within a stipulated time period you have to perform the task it it means we have to analyze we can measure the time only and motion study the moment you performing the job means close close observation to moments required to perform the jobs it means that is the elimination of wasteful motions that is the elimination of a ideal time period and this is the best way of doing the job standardization of the tool is necessary means equipment machinery good working condition to the employees means the working condition is a one part under the scientific management means good working condition or incentive wages plan there are different plans are there another one is supervising machines some specialist foreman should be there these are the issues under taken up a classical theory of scientific management one is weber by the bureaucracy theory or bureaucratic theory another one is foil that is another one is managerial responsibility theory and administrative theory and third one is the scientific management theory by the fw taylor this is the only three theories of classical theory under the management another my dear students one another is neo classical theory if you talk about neo classical theory different school of thoughts they are more focusing the neo classical theory what they are focusing now they are focusing through the the different elton mayo <coughs> and mg j uh, burger and william dickson they are involving the particular type of neo classical theory what they are focusing they are focusing only the hortheny studies they are more focusing the physical environment at a workplace of a, uh, do not have any material impact on efficiency of work it means they are focusing that physical environment is not necessary and work team is necessary psychological need is necessary social interaction is necessary and motivation is necessary it means they are developing a new theory that is called as a modern theory and that modern theory is developed under a different approaches in the year of 1938 1940 48 and 1957 also it means they are more focusing with the collection of views of different thinkers only more focusing of psychologically need of the employees you can study the mind of a of a particular employee another one is system theory it is also developed by the mp follett and poster bernard and they are more focusing over elaborated uh, with the how the complex organization will be evolved in a cybernetic way in in, in this particular situation the system should be there system means some rules some regulation some sub system is there they are divided into one organization is divided into three sub system technical sub system social sub system power sub system technical sub system means these are the some of the members who are who are more technical in their in their skill set they are performing in a particular organization social sub system some social satisfaction to the members through through which the particular organization can be performing well power sub system means exercising of powers which is influenced by the individual it means 
there is a system is there sub system is there organization as a unit organization as an entity to perform a better way another theory is contingency theory if you talk about contingency theory it is also called as a situational theory and contingency theory in present day world in a particular situation what the organization can do or what the particular manager can perform in a particular situation so when pandemic situation is arises the production is closing down and how the organization will be performing well in this particular situation that all situational factors to be more more focused or more undertaken in a particular circumstances particular time and that particular contribution in the best attainment of management of the team another theory is modern theory of organization if you talk about modern theory there is a resources are there material equipment human resource financial informational technology and managerial abilities there what type of manager planning organizing leading controlling and out what outcomes is come the production services either profit either loss either employee satisfaction or that type of uh, inputs transformational process output feedback result these are the overall part of a component of a of a organizational system it means input to transformational process through output and feedback and result and we can more focus on result only the result can be produced in terms of services in terms of products in terms of uh, profits also my dear students a last part of the particular class is organizational structure unit three if you talk about organizational structure structure means it is a relation between the authority and responsibility structure means there are various uh, positions in the organization if you see in a ceo is there and some uh, uh, deputy manager is there under deputy manager there are different type of uh, uh, managers are there and the under managers there are different section officers are there there are different way the particular organization well you may call it as a, it is a organizational chart you may call it as a, it is a job task pyramid or you may call it as a, it shows the authority and responsibility in relation between various position in the organization position means they are looking out they according to their skill set they are looking out their department so that i am already stated in in previous slides organization is both dynamic and static dynamic means it can be changed according to the time static means it can be stable within the situation it yeah, means according to the in, in a particular light of changes in the business environment the authority and responsibility the relationship with the planned relationship also changes but what is the significance that significance of uh, structure is necessary to proper balancing proper allocating of responsibility authority clear cut authority relationship encouraging the growth and making technological improvement also but there are different type of organizational structures are there in your book you see there are line organization there are staff organization is there line and staff organization there are functional structures are there under functional structure manufacturing department marketing finance under manufacturing marketing mechanical electrical advertising under marketing advertising sales under finance accounts audit department is there divisional structure is also there divisional structure means according to the product according to the territorial if you talk about hul hindustan uniform limited their product range is different different means they are they are more focusing over the fmcg product they are more focusing some other type of product and if you talk about territorial it means east west north south regions are there adaptive structure is there projected organization matrix organization 
these are the some of the organizational structure way they presenting in the we are focusing the in the particular world another one is different dimensions if you talk about dimensions in centralized way it can be organizations are there means another one formalization some activities rules procedure instructions specified written formal written is a high level delegation authority is necessary higher degree of department is necessary some complexity is also there it means it refers to differences among the jobs units also another one is organizational design if you talk about organizational design it means it refers to process of coordinating design means here there are three distinct school of uh, designing the organization already i am discussed in a in a classical theory neo classical theory <coughs> in a classical theory bureaucratic administrative and scientific classical theory max weber taylor foyle these are the formal hierarchy hierarchy of the particular clear cut set of rules and specialization of the labor another one is neo classical theory it is represented by the organizational scholar by such as a different type of uh, marger likert scale is there but cost here question is how the employees are satisfied with this type of organizations and they are the classical theory i have already stated so that i am uh, overplaying the particular slides but in a classical theory there there is an under the bureaucratic theory is also there and some of the uh, classical organization is also there simple structure organization is there flat type of organization they are vertical levels are there or employees of one individual in decision making authority is also centralized means one authority can centralize their take part in the decision making and matrix structure is also there matrix is an area of horizontal and row it means what is matrix it is a horizontal row and vertical column means they we can understand the functional organization different forms of departmentation that type of matrix is called as a that type of matrix way of for presenting the organizational structure is called as a matrix structure another one is some robins also described in other way the organization are there team structure virtual organization is there virtual organization means through network through modular organization and through outsourcing different specialization in a the coordinating the work activities and some boundaryless organization is also there boundaryless means the it, it, it is you can uh, no need of control the particular span of control their authority and respond their departments is empowered with their teams means they are more more or job task oriented work they can do it and two extreme models are also there and mechanical uh, mechanistic models also there means and organic models are there in major feature feature of organic model is uh, so hierarchical and so cross functional teams is there and some high participation in decision making is there and last part of my topic on today's class is for concept of organizational effectiveness but the question is here effectiveness means better way of organization better structure of the organization better structure how you called as a better structure if the employees are satisfied if the customer is satisfied if the organization is profitable and if the organization is so innovative for the best example is nokia in present day world nokia is nowhere and samsung is the number one market in not only the mobile but also in a electronics sector why only the new innovative technology are they are adopting and they are introducing the android uh, technology means new location new product how the customer will be satisfied how the organization will be profitable this is the question mark of uh, of a particular type of uh, structure in an organization that is called as effectiveness if you talk about effectiveness 
managerial policies practices in necessary first of all top level practices in necessary strategy is there leadership is there decision making should be there reward system communication to the uh, low level manager should be there and environmental characteristics is there and employee characteristics should be there skill now the government is also focusing skill reskill and off skill why it is needed this is needed to only perform their task in a better way so that organizational effective can success another one is goal motives attitude value value means undertaken of a particular employee and organizational characteristics is there and there is structure should be changed technology should be adopted and the size should be changed but the, there are some of the benefits of organizational effective but in this pandemic disruption period you see there are behavior of a employees is so, so much changed the business need is changed and employee morale is sustained and they can maintain their productivity in a better way and right employee talented employee should be retained or uh, if they are uh, if the organization is not retained not focusing such type of issues the organization may failure 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 for example there are different organizations if you talk about the rahul mehul choksi you see what kind of particular organization is if you talk about nokia if you talk about some uh, um, um like as a or some other uh, persons those who are flew in a certain period into the foreign countries so involved with the embellishment of gas so these are some of the talented people should be retained talented right employees should be retained and employee objective reward system should be adopted like as a sop employee stock option plan policy now the gum now the some of the companies are uh, issuing the esop scheme because they say the our employees are the uh, our employees the right hand of hand of task of complete of a total successful organization that is called as the alignment to the business goal my dear students these are the some of the issues which are uh, i am focusing in today's class block 1 of a mco1 block 1 and uh, now the it is the time for question and answer session if any questions you have you can ask me and i am uh, stopping my slides and uh, in my dear students if any question you have you can ask me in the and or you can put through the in the chat box also hello any question hello everybody any question you have you can put through the chat box yes sobhagya sobhagya i hope sobhagya ask me uh, uh, matrix structure organization exactly what is matrix in a mathematical diagram you see the matrix there are some of the rows and columns are there in a particular organization there are different departments also there like at the top to bottom level and you put this type of rows and columns their departmental heads are there this is called as a matrix structure of organization it means it is a only clubbed of horizontal and vertical scheme of the particular organization way or any question my dear students i am also sharing uh, in your uh, whatsapp group of uh, ppt powerpoint presentation uh, i am sharing uh, one question from uh, purendra behra uh, sir can you share the presentation yes yes my dear students in a whatsapp group i can send send you the my P ppt for the today's class in the next class same time at morning 8 am to 9 am 
uh, NCO one block number two we have to discuss in a better way. And uh, now I am closing. Uh, thank you, Sobhagya Khatua. Thank you, sir. Now I am closing my uh, recording. Stop recording.